she goes. You gonna give it to me? Give me, give me the ball. All right, come here. Come on. All right, sit, sit, sit down, sit. Good girl. Ready? And off she goes. She will chase this thing all day. She's gonna go run her laps now. Watch. Into the house she goes. She'll be back in a minute. What's going on, YouTube? Stony here with Stony's Outdoor Adventures. It is Sunday. Uh, I don't know what time it is, but the sun is on the way down to touch the horizon. Temps are dropping a little bit. It was bitterly cold this morning, but it warmed up to be a relatively nice afternoon. If I had to guess, I'd say we're probably in the upper 40s right now, maybe low 50s. <clears throat> but, uh, had a free moment and got tons of stuff going on, so I wanted to touch base with everybody and uh, get a couple of things out there. And while we're doing it, we're going to fire it up on a Sunday just because, and I haven't done it in a while, and I had a hankering to break out the old fire bag and see what we could get going. So you guys stay tuned, hang with me, and welcome to Stoney's Outdoor Adventures. First thing I want to do is get a mail call out of the way. Uh, I received this uh, probably close to a week ago. Um, it's coming all the way to me from Michigan, a new sub uh, who reached out and I have yet to make it to the post office and for that I apologize. Um, I've had to work the last several weekends consecutively. I've got one more weekend of working uh, to go and then hopefully it'll slow down a little bit and I'll be able to get my rear end to the post office. It's a little bit of a drive for me to get out there and uh, it's hard to do during the week because they're usually closed by the time I get off. But I've got a couple of packages going out to uh, Miss Ladybug and Mr. Gary Mildrum. I do appreciate you guys coming over and subbing to Stoney's Outdoor Adventures and there'll be more videos coming for everybody. Uh, like I said, it's just one of those times where life seems to be getting in the way. So. Without further ado, we'll get this opened up. I think I know what it is, but I'm not 100% certain. So let's tear into it and see what we got. Oh! Got a little note in here. I can get it open. <laughs> so this package comes from <clears throat> one of my new subscribers. He goes by Spur, uh, Mr. Gary Meldrum, all the way up in Michigan, and he sent me two. Um, so one of these will be going to Craig. He indicates in his letter um, for me and my trapping buddy. Most of you guys know that Craig's like a brother to me over at Georgia Trapping and Fishing. For those of you have, who haven't checked out, his uh, channel. I'll put a link down below. But Mr. Meldrum sent me two ferro rods and the handles are made out of Michigan fatwood. Check that out. Michigan gold handled ferro rods. So I'll be taking one of these over to Craig at Georgia Trapping and Fishing. What a cool concept. <clears throat> just scrape it right off the handle there's plenty of beef there and uh, you got your ferro rod matter of fact we're gonna put one of these to use today so mr. Meldrum I do appreciate it I do have your channel stickers and I've got you some Georgia live lolly gold already packaged up I just got to get to the post office so I'll get that to you just as soon as I can and Miss Ladybug, your channel stickers and some Georgia Fatwood will be coming your way too. Uh, it's truly appreciated. I, it, it really means a lot. I love this community. I love the support. You guys keep it coming. And uh, I will do my best to get some more videos out. Uh, also, I wanted to uh, mention to you guys, uh, most of you know that over 90% of my kids are serving or have served in the United States military. 
and <clears throat> my daughter spent six years i think in the army it was either it's just over five years or six years in the army she was an intelligence analyst and that is where she met her husband jake my son-in-law and jake is new to the youtube community i will put a link to his brand new channel down below in this video as well it's no my outdoors they are up in northern michigan no my northern michigan and jake does steelhead fishing and does deer hunts and he is a outdoor lover like me and uh he's new and i want you guys to show him the love that you've shown me that you've shown craig this great community you guys go check him out and uh and like i said he's new to it does some really good video editing i think he's got two or three videos up already and uh i was texting him earlier and i said man you gotta show me how you're editing this stuff because it looks way better than mine anyway we want to get jake uh involved and get him up and running He's got a lot of stuff going on up there, and uh, he spends a lot of time in the outdoors. You guys may find some of what he's got going up there really interesting. So you guys welcome him. Again, it's No My Outdoors, Northern Michigan Outdoors, and his name is Jake. That's old Stoney's son-in-law, and uh, we don't get to see him nearly enough, but uh, hoping that that'll change here in the near future. You guys stick around. Let's see if we can get one to fire off with these new ferro rods. I got some fat wood left over from the last time me and Craig went on a fat wood hunt. You guys can go back in my channel vi channel videos and see uh, that big fat wood haul we had not too far from where we live. I think we pulled in about 500 pounds that day. Bella just took my fat wood. Bring it back, girl. We'll get some of this process down. Ooh, I can smell it. Oh, yeah. I'll break some of this up. Let's see if I can get this going with just the shavings. So I'm probably gonna have to make quite a bit. I'll have to get the old more out. I'll show you what I'm working with here. you guys look at this slob lolly lighter knot Look at that, y'all. The smell is just, man, it's intoxicating to me. Bella's stealing all my fat wood. You guys hang on. <sighs> Sorry about that. She's quick and I'm old. broken down now that it's covered in dog slobber we'll see if we can get this with a one and done and traditional 
Real Bill Melton style. So what I'm doing now is reaching into the bag of tricks. And we got the old tender pal. We'll get some shavings up. First, I need to clean it. I'll be right back. This shouldn't take too long. Now that I'm down into it, can y'all see that? <clears throat> that is some rich, rich, rich fat wood. Since I don't have a tender bundle, which normally I would scavenge around and break down some tender, and this was kind of a impromptu video because it was so nice out. And I just wanted to come out here and touch base with you guys and gals. And basically just give everybody a general heartfelt thank you for all the support. So many people reached out this past year to just check on me because I've kind of been on a hiatus, but a lot of that was work and for those of you that follow me know that this past November we had kind of a rough go when my grandfather passed, but we're good now and everybody's doing well. But it's never quite the same when you lose a loved one like that, especially one that was so integral to the, our family anyway. That ought to get us rolling. Let me get the uh, let me get this off. More companion. I love this old knife. I saw, uh, saw a video not too long ago, and I can't remember the channel, but I did leave her a comment. It was a young lady that looked relatively new to the fire making community, and she was just discovering fatwood, and she found some really nice fatwood, and I'm not real sure where she resides at, but it was up north somewhere. It may have been Michigan or somewhere up there. I know this. <clears throat> she had a lot of snow on the ground, so could have been uh, eastern seaboard up north. She, she might have been up towards the Poconos, but for some reason I want to say she was out in Michigan area out there, but um, she was learning how to use her ferro rod and she was striking her ferro rod with the sharp edge of her knife and I was just like kind of oh no <laughs> but uh, there were several people on there that were explaining to her the importance of maintaining the edge but using the back or the spine of your knife and when you buy the Moras, they come kind of rounded off, and I, I put mine on a grinder, got a good 90 degree edge to use. So you can flip it over to get your scrapings. And that 90 degree edge is key. But since I've got the Tender Pal from Smith, we're gonna see if we can't fire this thing off with one of these new ferro rods that I just got. 
and we'll scrape it down into the hobo stove and we'll see if we can't get it to go. So I've got a ceramic striker in here, which I love somewhere. Ceramic striker from Andy over at Mad Dog Survival. And uh, <clears throat> he, he made me this, sent me a feral ride when I first got started, but see if we can get this thing done. Well, if I can get it to strike, there we go. New feral rod took me a minute, but Ooh, listen to it go. It's good fat wood. Wasn't a true one and done, but the first time it threw a spark, it went up. So that's something. Point is, is we got it going. And if we were in a situation where we had to have fire, we could have got it done. So Mr. Meldrum, it worked like a charm. Very much appreciated. And I love the handles, man. That is some rich, sick, fat wood right there. <clears throat> kind of almost don't want to scrape the handles, even though it was, it's a perfect application. Craig, I've got you one too. <laughs> Let me get this thing, get the old hobo stove fired up here. And this thing, I did a video on how I made it. <sighs> Which really was me just copying David West. If y'all haven't checked out David West's channel, I'll put a link to his channel down here too but man you talk about a guy that can build fire every method known to man that i've been able to find david west can do it and makes it look easy but that's what we shaved off just veins of fat wood when this thing gets hot enough it will take off Let me see if I can get some air going to it. That one piece is pretty big. As always, guys, I do appreciate you guys sticking with me, staying with us. Prayers for all the people overseas that are involved in this needless and pointless conflict if you want to know my personal opinion um but it just goes to show you that uh these days and times are not what they used to be so it is imperative upon us <clears throat> to uh keep the faith and uh speak to our gods in our own way and pray for a peaceful resolution to everything that's going on overseas because this will directly or indirectly f affect everybody in the world in some shape, form, or fashion if you haven't seen it already. And to all the men and women who have served past, present, and to the future ones, my hat's off to you. I love each and every one of you. God bless you all. You guys go check out Craig at Georgia Trapping and Fishing. You guys give Jake a shout out over at Know My Outdoors. He's, a, he's new. We want to get him up and running. He's got some great content. He spends a lot of time in the outdoors. He's a young up and comer and he's my son-in-law. So, uh, I'm, I'm proud of him. And, uh, you guys, as always stay safe out there. God bless you all and simplify.